Get down here, Merc. Too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> Help me! to get clear take Tifa and get out of here I I was wrong about you this ain't the end of the line for you or me Cloud! Uh. come on uh.
Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Made it through with just uh, a couple of scraped knees back then. Back then? What do you say? We doing this? Have we? Never mind about that. Right now, you need to focus on yourself. Move something. Anything. Why not? Good. Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I am your everything. There's still so much to be done. Maybe you're not okay. <sighs> ah, he lives. Finally awake, are we? <clears throat> you're... Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are? Cloud. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And this is... An old church in the Sector 5 slums. You came crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> Fell right into my flower bed. Lucky for you. Like, really? Oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to- Don't worry about it. They're a lot tougher than they look. This place, it has a kind of power. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. Thanks. I've got one too. You, and everybody and their mother. Not like mine, no. It's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. Bet you just don't know how to use it. Could be. Though, I really don't mind. Just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Pretty crazy, huh? Us meeting again like this. You should stay a while. I could stick around a bit. <gasps> really? You will? In that case... Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. <clears throat> and who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. You don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from merc stuff, right? Huh? Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine. But it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? Huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <laughs> hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. <laughs> I'll make this quick. You better. Good old what's his face. How do you know? I hate doing cleanup, but I'm damn good at it. <laughs> Gonna make me work for it, huh? <laughs> well, lucky for you, tough guy. 
a professional! You've got it all wrong, man. I just wanted to... Cloud! No! no! <laughs> Sir! Are you hurt? I'm fine. Go get the girl. Sir! The hell? Weird. They're not attacking. Hey! Open up! Come on. Come on. Nothing! Up there! Hey, no shooting! Oh, man. Hey, you okay? Probably. Or maybe not. If there's so much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. What now? Run! Move it, I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! Could drop that. They're in the attic, should we pursue? Ah, leave him be. But, sir! Partners got it. We are out. <clears throat> Beginner's luck. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Whew. That was unexpected. Thank you, Cloud. You good? Of course. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh... Not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We poured so much of our blood and sweat into building that reactor. Now... I can't believe this is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey! What the hell's going on? Check it out, Come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah, well, it's got a good view of the reactor. It's on fire! Ain't a show. They know that. They're worried. Huh? Wait. Deck is all clear! Rope's good! Go! Pull him up! Let's go. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me or you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. Come 
on. I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> <sighs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. Take this one. Huh? Um, Take it. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, right. Off we go. <sighs> I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> don't worry, it'll be okay. <coughs> 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 Wait! Hmm. Not him. It looks pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number. But why two? Who knows? Come to think. The reunion. <laughs> Cloud, get it together. Come on. You don't know who Sephiroth is, do you? 
Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. <laughs> you Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No, I don't believe that I have. <sighs> Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. Hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Uh... You talking to the... Shh. So, yeah. It was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep Mom waiting. Hey. What'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Oh. <sighs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can, there's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them.
Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <clears throat> Don't want to overstay my welcome. Huh. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. <laughs> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> and that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. I don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. 
Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. You did it! Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hmm? Alright, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Hmm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <sighs> yeah? gotta be so tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? <clears throat> I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! <laughs> Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Campament... Uh, composite... I don't get it! Nah. <sighs> How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, uh, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh. Okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense? Uh, no shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 compensatory damages. Uh, uh, of course, so I do that. recompense, I can't afford <laughs> that. I think we've heard enough. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Cloud, up top! The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Uh. 
What's his name? I probably know him. Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Here. Hmm? This won't take long. Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And... if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Welcome to Wall Market! The pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody! Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the <laughs> way it is. Hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But... To earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio, right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. 
Now scram. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails. You lose. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Cook. Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! 
Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back, and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. Hey! Lovebirds! Over here! In the city that never sleeps! In the paradise of debauchery and sin! The pain and pleasure! Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price! All money! To you esteemed connoisseurs of chaos and bloodshed! We bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? For tonight, the most crucial spectacle anywhere in Walmart and or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents! Thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they got it black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the kill and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the blood star beast will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes in tonight's Corneo Time! For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! This is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Dummy bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Jericho, one of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell. The Sanguine Stalkers! No, no, please! Beast! Ah! 
You brought animals? Oh? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! For the second match in our spectacular semifinals! Fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple my ass! What the hell you two try to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah! Their opponents, screamers in this trap yard, thieves and killers through and through. Two criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible sons of bitches this side of Wall Market, Bex Benefits. of the Corneo Cup semi-final. Begin oh, now! Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the plane! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who've surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with a boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cuddy and Sleepy! Come on now! Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <sighs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Eren! Cloud! Cloud! Over here! Look at them! They're so adorable! You're the man, Cloud! Eren, I love you! Marry me! Their opponent! Buried in the bowels of the 
have seen. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! It's just... a house. That's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar! Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not! No sir, you have not! They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cup's final, final battle begins now! Wait. It's almost disappointing. No. Not yet. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, what the? Look out! showing an interest in someone. What will you do? This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, 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 yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone 
and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Come on, come on! The show's about to start! Oh. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> Sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's blushing. Life can be hard, it can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the Honey Bee, in every moment. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead?
Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. so dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Cloud. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, 
It would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> okay, my beautiful ladies. Time to line up for the dawn. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas, we got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever-generous Don Corneo himself, never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to... Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> 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 oh, you stupid! Oh, wait! Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. 
<laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! <sighs> Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> when they're faced with certain death, jackass. <laughs> Not what we were looking for. But you can find it in the sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. 
Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Aerith. Cloud. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. Back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure, there isn't something else going on? Um. Lives down here, or was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But, if he was telling the truth... Hmm? And there's still a chance he was, isn't there? Then, we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm? Uh, <sighs> Tifa! I 
can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. Hmm. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. On my way. Here we go. Almost there. me. <laughs> Least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> Focus. Still thinking about the plate? future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be. Avalanche missions been proved. We ought to proceed as planned. <sighs> this is bullshit. What the hell are they thinking? Threats to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. I guess it's a little late to grow a conscience.
Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. Hmm. Huh? What is that? <laughs> you okay? <sighs> All good, I think. <sighs> Still in one piece here, too. Guys? <gasps> Seriously? Come on, huh? Well, that's... inviting. What do you think? Uh. Hmm. I'm game. Huh? Uh. Uh, but it'll be fine. We've got a bodyguard, don't forget. Mine. <sighs> right? Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> You're just being modest. <sighs> After you. Mind letting me go then? <sighs> Found you. Hey, can we talk? Just for a bit? dangerous I know but even so <sighs> what the Us. <sighs> Gonna need to find another way through.
All this time, you were waiting for someone to come and play with you. Huh. What are you talking about? <sighs> come on, let's get back to the crane. <sighs> we're through! Great. Let's head outside. carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. So you have to stay far, far away from there. All right then, I will. Mm. Oh, you know Betty? Yesterday she went with her daddy to... to... Hmm? When is daddy coming back? Actually, he might not make it home tonight. <sighs> Marlene, what are you? <sighs> we can't waste any more time here. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's get going. Everybody good? Yeah. have anything to say about it. All we can do now is keep moving. Please, please let us be in time. Wow, would you look at that? Almost there. Come on. Right.
The kids that the black wind carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. Right. Right. Long.
We made it! You got. Come on! <gasps> Trying to take out the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barrett and the others are still. Stop. Uh, Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. Sir. Uh, I'm going to. I can still fight. Uh, uh, Biggs, he. They were shooting at me and he. Wedge, please. Let Cloud uh, handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Uh, uh, Hang on, guys! Help is coming! Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. <sighs> About time you showed up, Mark. Yes. <laughs> 
Testing. Testing. Attention, Avalanche Scum. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar. But the Turks, uh, the, but Shinra, that's us, won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. That ought to do it, right? <laughs> Good enough. Wait, I know you. Mr. First Class. your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Man, screw this cheap-ass play. Close one. How is it? Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? <sighs> Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done! Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass! Come on! Seventh Heaven is this way. Wedge, wait! You have to step away from the gate. You have to open the gate! If you don't let these people through! Back off! It's not gonna happen! Wedge! I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? Uh, I wanna believe that we could still win somehow. <laughs> but something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. <sighs> Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all gonna die! 
Close it! No, sir! I will not obey that order! This way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! You can't just... Uh, wait! Oh. Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right! You can't miss it! Don't worry about me! All right! I'll get these people to safety! You all have to get out of Sector 7! Now! Please! Hmm? Slow down! Do you know what's going on? What do they want with the pillar? Well, there's still time, but... They're going to drop the plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait! The watch should clear the roads first! Ah, good thinking. Hop to it. Avalanche, I take it? <sighs> Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. for the best. After all, hmm. change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. She's with Cloud and the others. Daddy, too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there, too. Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh, the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? <laughs> I know it's hard. 
Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? flower. <sighs> I hope you remember it. Come on. on a merry chase, Aerith. Sung. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. <sighs> How about we make a deal? Confirmation. How do we stop it? Initiated. Late separation initiated. 
Commencing separation sequence. Section 1 separation imminent. Evacuate immediately. Plate separation initiated. You son of a bitch! What have you done?! Marlene, my baby, thank God. Shh. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that? She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot.
take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others, an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could, if I could ever. Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of.
Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So, it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... You need to embrace this moment, right? <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared, for all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. <sighs> Even if you think you have, it's not real. <sighs> Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want. Thank you. <laughs> so... ...about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed... ...so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our... ...great work, my dear. Hmm... You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. 
Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear. Ifalna was elegance, right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. such invaluable combat data. Cocky little egghead, ain't you? The results provided by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. <laughs> but I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. Looks like your models got it wrong. Yes, an unknown variable, perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. But will they get here in time to save you from me? Why are you a soldier? Yeah.
What? You wanna go? Stop! <laughs> this child's a friend. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh, <laughs> did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? <sighs> <sighs> Red 13. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then you must have another name. What is it? He got away. So, we're gonna go get the son of a bitch. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? Hmm. Yes, understood. The VP needs us. still a child.
My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the Ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the promised land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> Nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? Hm. Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, great. These assholes again. Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet, from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes. For it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help all of you and the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. them, the yellow flowers. It's okay. We'll find a way out together. Okay. Oh. 
Buyur. Aha, there you are. Rick, what are you doing, man? Hey guys, long time no see. Wedge? You're here? You, you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now... <laughs> what was that? An explosion? HQ's running the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush out the president. This complicates matters. That explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. So now we're trapped in here? Engaging lockdown protocol. No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. Like super duper nicely. Thanks, Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, oh. Uh, I didn't ask him to do any of that. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm glad he did. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna still chew him out for it later. There. Now what do we do? Where can you turn? Nice job. What? Shit! What the hell, Red? Hmm. Let's go. Right. Genova. Mother. Together we will reclaim our world. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! Cloud? Deny me. Embrace me. Huh? 
a touching reunion. Very, very good. And thus is the hypothesis proven correct. I can only hope you will continue not to disappoint. They just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. Yeah, let's try. <clears throat> you triumph <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't yes I believe I have just about all the data that I require then we are ready to proceed to the next stage time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. What the hell's going on? Who would? We may find out soon. Let's go. Pull me up! <clears throat> I'll give you all the money you want! I have killed! Plenty of it! <laughs> hmm? 
thing is, I don't want your money. Please. Just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Get on TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tai or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell them that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn. You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. source of everything.
pass to search for friendlies. Death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Uh. 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 Thanks. <sighs> hey, get your man. He got away. <laughs> About time we made our escape, too. Personally, boss. <laughs> Take Aerith and get out of here. Hmm. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Oh, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. You're a soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex-soldier. I quit. Secure the others. <laughs> hmm. Just the two of us. Well, maybe three. I could end this, here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new beginning. For Shinra!
gotta be better than this. If you're gonna play the hero. Think they can manage on their own? You've seen them both in action. You know they can. Besides... <gasps> what was that? <sighs> gotta believe they made it out. I hope so. Damn it. Hey. Screw it. We gotta go pay. Hey. What, Red? Get down! <laughs> We're cool. Everything's cool. Ah! Huh. Huh. Uh. Uh. Barrett! Uh. 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 Not again! Uh. You can't stop me! For Biggs, for Jesse, Tifa, and Barrett too. I'm sorry, Cloud. Just tell me that that I made a difference. One piece. Yeah, somehow. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> find a way we can all escape, and quickly. You're right. Let's go.
All we gotta do now is find the others. <clears throat> We have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. It was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist! Lab rat dog. <laughs> and where are the rest of you? Up your ass. <laughs> Charming. Though not what I would have chosen as my last words. Secure the ancient, but feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog. <sighs> Eric, you saved my Marlene. Now, it's time I return the favor. Wait! Free, Red. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Hell, you might even try smiling. <clears throat> mm. On second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Hey, don't pout. <clears throat> Look. Hmm?
What is all this? Something wrong, sir. Stand by, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wait! You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? If he did, I hope he's okay. Uh. They're coming. Who? This we don't need. Time to go. <laughs> Okay, y'all. 
Let's finish him off! Come on! Okay, asshole, let Don't! And you... You're wrong. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Everything about you is wrong. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. The world won't end today. For you. You will. Destiny comes. We drag our asses all this way. This is the welcome we get. <sighs> boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. your dreams and whatever happens protect your honor as a soldier come and get it This 
This is the point of no return. Destiny's Crossroads. Then why did you stop me? I'm not really sure. What will we find on the other side? Freedom. <sighs> Boundless. Terrifying freedom. Like a great, never-ending sky. What you heard just now were the voices of the planet. Those born into this world, who lived and who died, who returned, are howling in pain. Because of him, Sephiroth? They... Their words... They don't reach him. All these moments and memories, precious and fleeting, they're like rain rolling off his back. And when they're gone, he won't cry or shout or anything. <sighs> He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet, that he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. There's no greater threat to the planet than him. Sephiroth has to be stopped. He has to be. And that's why... I'm asking you to help me. I know that together, we can do this. But if we do... We'll be changing more than fate itself. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. I guess... Maybe... That's why I hesitated. You said it yourself. He has to be stopped. And frankly, I've heard enough howling for a lifetime. Never tried to challenge destiny. This could well be her last line of defense. It won't be easy. <sighs> Let's go. First time I spit in Destiny's eye. Whether you can see the scenes or you can't, does it change that she's always trying to have it her way? Daddy's coming home real soon, honey.
<laughs> Don't know about you, but looks normal to me. Over there. Just see. A glimpse of tomorrow if we fail you today. The 
future is always a blank page. Uh, them again! At least they can do is give us a little breathing. I say we split up. Take them down at the same time. In that case, Ultra Big Boy is all mine. I'm waiting, Cloud. Huh? What the hell is this? This is... Finish this. Let's 
Welcome back. We can do this. We can. We can change it. Make it right. Careful now. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end. Nor will I have you end. This is... The edge of creation. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Never. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right.
Wait. Was that all of them? Hey, Cloud. You see that? Here. Thank you. Marlene? Coming! Oh. Daddy? Marlene! What now? Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him! We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too! 
bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. I miss it. The steel sky. I would be lost, drifting on.